A new disease. No one's immune. No, we just have to blame it on something that's in every household. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about 15 times The Simpsons predicted the future. So with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Do you want to win an iPhone 12? Maybe a MacBook Pro? How about $500 cash? All you have to do is comment the secret hidden message somewhere in this video. That's it. Oh, and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep affording these giveaways. Winner will be announced at the last day of each month. Thanks for watching and good luck. Corruption scandal of FIFA. I'm sure you are familiar with the World Cup. Oh, yeah, that's the thing that guys at the dry cleaners get so excited about every four years. In season 25, episode 16 made a prediction in 2014 about the corruption in FIFA and what became a reality in 2015. I'm afraid there has been an epidemic of referees being bribed to throw games. In Simpsons, the World Football Federation representative who asked Homer for assistance to repair the organization's reputation was not clearly named as a member of FIFA and he was arrested later as a result. His arrest was quite similar to those of the real-life FIFA officials who were arrested due to a corruption scandal in 2015. Further, the episode also predicted the defeat of Brazil against Germany. Grace debt default. In season 23, episode 10, Homer Simpson made a prediction about 2012, and that came true after three years. In the episode, Homer appeared as a guest commentator on a TV show. A ticker ran across the bottom of the TV screen that showed that Europe put Greece on eBay. After a period of three years, Greece became the first European country to default on the IMF, and as a result, the country faced a serious economic crisis. Smartwatches. Oh, blast. Go to plan B. In the same episode of FaceTime, the episode also predicted the smartwatch. In this episode, Lisa's fiancé made a cell phone call by using his watch, and that became a reality after 19 years when a new feature of voice recognition was introduced in smartwatches, thanks to Google, Apple, and Samsung. Legalized Gambling Now, I uh, hesitate to bring this up, but a number of cities have rejuvenated their economies with... Uh legalized gambling episode 10 of season 5 predicted in 1993 legalizing gambling and it came true in 2003 so in the episode springfield decided to legalize gambling mr burns opened a casino where the german magician performed a routine seeming to spoof the long-running las vegas siegfried and roy show by building a casino i could tighten my stranglehold on this dismal town well i like the part about the gambling Dreadfully, a bit in which the animated duo attacked by their tiger became a reality 10 years later when Roy Horn was mauled on stage by a white Bengal tiger. As a result of the tiger attack, he became partially paralyzed. Faulty Voter Machine Ooh, one of those electronic voting dealies. Season 20, Episode 4 This episode actually made a prediction in 2008, and that became true in 2012. In a bid inspired by the 2008 presidential election, Homer wanted to vote for Barack Obama, but instantly he knew that there were some flaws in the electric voting systems. When Simpson tried to push the censor for Obama, the vote tallied up for John McCain. One vote for McCain. Thank you. <laughs> no, I want to vote for Obama. Two votes for McCain. <laughs> Come on, it's time for a change. And four years later, this became a reality when people tried to vote for Obama and tallied up for his opponent, Mitt Romney, instead. Six votes for President McCain. Hey, I only meant one of those votes for McCain. The presidency of Donald Trump. At the time of the election in 2016, everyone was sure that Hillary Clinton was going to become the new president of the U.S. Some experts even made predictions that Hillary Clinton was going to get a massive win, but all the predictions were wrong when Trump won the election. Now let's talk about The Simpsons. This happened in the episode Bart to the Future, and featured a future timeline in which Lisa was basically the president of the U.S., and she stated some lines that showed that Donald Trump was the president before. As you know, we've inherited quite a budget crunch from President Trump. How bad is it, Secretary Van Houten? We're broke. As per the writers, they actually try to warn America, and that seems logical. The virus. This episode made four predictions about what would happen in 2020. First and foremost, the episode predicted the virus outbreak via the Osaka flu, and some people from different nations brought the virus to Springfield through the boxes of content, and they sneezed into the box, and the virus lasted until it went to Springfield. What the? As a result, the people became desperate for a cure, 
but they did not listen to the medical advice of the doctors in the area. Also, the people did not respect the social distancing and wearing masks. This, this plague doesn't scare me. I've constructed a germ-free chamber for myself. Not a single microbe can get in or out. <laughs> The third prediction was about dangerous killer bees that also became a reality in the U.S. We've been invaded by a swarm of killer bees. My microphone is no microphone at all. It's bees. Am I being badly stung? Yes, and it hurts. The fourth prediction was about the wrongful arrest of Marge, which led to civil unrest, and that became a reality in the form of George Floyd. Take her away, Marge. If you take me away, then who's going to watch my kids? What? March, you're being arrested? Virtual reality food. You might be flabbergasted to hear about this prediction. If you cannot eat pizza or pasta in the real world, then soon you'll be able to try it in the virtual world. We all know that this is an era of virtual reality, and metaverse is the trend. Simpsons have already made a prediction about the future, like in 2030. Homer and Marge chugged down on virtual rubbish through virtual reality glasses and feeding tubes. Homer chugged down a bunch of donuts. In real life, scientists are making it possible to experience VR dining, and you can also experience the taste with every bite of food. The researchers at Cornell University are making a big statement that if you taste the cheese in VR, then you would feel a better taste. Baby Translator Imagine your one-year-old kid is translating English into Chinese. Surely you'd be surprised. It's a baby translator. It measures the pitch, the frequency, and the urgency of a baby's cries. Then it tells whoever's around, in plain English, exactly what the baby is trying to say. However, this does not mean that your child would talk and translate the language himself. In fact, scientists would make an instrument that would assist you in hearing what your kid is trying to say. Surely if it happens, then it would really help the mothers to understand their kids better. Let me tell you one thing, if this machine comes out, there would be a long queue outside the stores to buy it for their kids. Still, an app called Cry Translator has been revealed that interprets the crying of a kid and determines whether your child is hungry, stressed, bored, or something else. FaceTime In episode 19, season 6, Lisa's wedding ceremony predicted the future in 1995. However, it became a reality in 2010. In that episode, Lisa talked with Marge through a video call. This feature has become much more popular with the name FaceTime, the shape of the universe. What do you think about the shape of the universe? Episode 22 of season 10 was aired in 1999, when no one had any idea about the truth behind the shape of the universe. The title of the episode was They Saved Lisa's Brain. They have well-known physicist Stephen Hawking as a cameo. While talking to him, Hawking says that his theory of the universe is the shape of a donut. Your theory of a donut-shaped universe is intriguing, Homer. I may have to steal it. The predictions are almost true, and according to a scientist, the universe has a donut shape. Three-eyed fish. One, two, three. In season two, episode four, Bart was fishing in a pond near the Springfield nuclear power plant and caught a fish having three eyes. <laughs> All right, we eat tonight. <laughs> Wait a minute. At the time, it looked like a joke for kids, but after a period of 20 years, it became a reality. In Cordoba province of Argentina, a fisherman caught a three-eyed fish, and one thing that was astonishing was that the lake was near a power plant. Exactly what happened in the Simpsons episode, Robot Takeover. You've got to listen to me. Elementary chaos theory tells us that all robots will eventually turn against their masters and run amok. At this time, we all know that AI is significantly playing its role in today's life. Moreover, scientists have developed a number of robots as well, like drones and police dogs, and they're used in many operations as well. Another company is making robots that can even interact with people and learn something new. Hospitals are also using robotic machines in surgery. There are a number of episodes in The Simpsons that predicted the robot takeover. One of the episode's names was Itchy and Scratchy Linen in Season 6. In the episode, the animated robots caused huge damage to the world. Oh, for gosh sakes, what now? Hey, look, this one's coming on to me. Prediction for World War III 
This was the most terrifying and scary prediction of all. There are various reasons that if World War III happened, then it would be the most destructive. However, no one has seen the World War so far, but Simpsons have predicted that another World War would erupt soon. In one of the episodes, Homer and Lisa's fiance was drinking in a bar, and when the bartender, Mo found out that Lisa's fiance was from England, then he made fun of him by saying, we saved you in World War II. Lisa's fiance said that we saved you in World War III. You know I rather like this pub. Oh, an English boy, eh? You know, we saved your ass in World War II. Yeah, well, we saved your ass in World War III. That's true. Unfortunately, this shows that a new war is going to break out soon. But let's hope that this prediction won't come true. Nobel Peace Prize winner In episode 1 of season 22, which was aired in 2010, this episode looked like a normal one. But after 6 years, many fans noted a specific scene in the cartoon episode that made a surprising prediction. In that episode, Krusty invited Homer to join him at the Nobel Peace Prize ceremony held in Norway. The kids in the cartoon decided to make bets about who was going to win the Peace Prize. All the kids picked different names, but surprisingly, Milhouse's guess about Ben R. Holstrom became a reality in 2016. That's all for today's video, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to share your thoughts with us in the comment section down below. And while you're here, click to watch one of these two videos appearing on your screen right now. I'll see you there. Take care and stay tuned.